welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Sarah and today we're gonna to be doing Julie's three month update she actually turned three months old yesterday so she is right over here laying next to me so I'll probably put her in some part of this video but for now she's just hanging out over there she does not have a doctor's appointment for three months she had one at two months and then we'll have another one at four months so i don't know exactly all of her stats but i'm going to try to give you guys an idea the best that i can when she was a little over two months she was about 11 pounds at the doctor so i think now she's probably around 13 i'm guessing she still can wear some newborn clothes but most of it is too small now which is so crazy so she definitely wears zero to three. She can fit into some three month stuff, but most of the time she's wearing zero to three right now. We just about a week ago moved her to size two diapers, which also just kind of breaks my heart. But the size ones, we were doing a lot of honest diapers because that's what I had left over from my son. And the honest diaper size ones were just getting really small. I think some other brands run a little bit bigger, but we had some honest size two, so we moved her up. To a size two i am still exclusively pumping and we are supplementing a little bit with formula and so she is getting bottles so just to give you a rough idea she does drink about five ounces per bottle she goes about every two and a half or three hours during the day and then the routine we've been getting in at night is we will feed her around five o'clock put her down around six sometimes it's you know feed at six and put her down around seven but generally, if we feed her around five, put her down around six, then she sleeps usually till three or four. And sometimes she'll fuss a little bit and we can get her to go back to sleep for another hour or so. But typically we've been feeding her anywhere between three and 5 a.m. And then that's just her one time that she wakes up throughout the night. Sometimes my husband will even get up and feed her and just stay up for the day. But typically we'll do that feeding. She might go back to bed till like seven or eight and then we all get up and she's up for the day so that's been working out pretty well obviously we would love it if she could just sleep till like six or seven and then she would really be sleeping through the night but she gets a huge stretch of sleep in there and so that is just really awesome one thing I have noticed in the past month is taking her out is getting more and more difficult just because she needs more things to be comfortable and to go to sleep. So when we're out, if I wear her, she's not able to sleep very well while I'm wearing her. So that's been really difficult trying to just like make sure she's comfortable. Sometimes even in the stroller, she can't fall asleep and just gets kind of fussy when we're out. So it's definitely getting more difficult to take her out, but it's not impossible and I still take her out almost every day by far the biggest developmental milestone that's happened this month that has been so fun is she smiles all the time now it's adorable so actually right now she was just drinking her bottle and she heard me talking and just kept smiling and like couldn't even drink her bottle she was smiling so much she smiles whenever we wake her up or like we go into her room when she wakes up in the morning anytime she like is up close to somebody's face she'll smile at them it's just so sweet it's definitely my favorite thing so far she's definitely recognizing people she's starting to make a little bit of cooing sounds every once in a while so it's just so fun to interact with her since she's getting a little bit stronger i have started putting her on the ground and we have a little uh, piano that she can kick with a little like toy arch over her and she loves that i can't even believe that she's old enough to like enjoy like toys and things like that but I feel like she really is starting to she definitely likes fun sounds and she likes looking in mirrors and she's kind of starting to understand that if she touches something with her hand it will move or make a sound so I think she's starting to do that but she's still pretty early in that she hasn't fully rolled over on her own I wouldn't say but if you can prop her arms up a little bit then she definitely can roll over hi do you want your bottle back? But she's getting a lot stronger with her head and I mean she can fully like lift up the upper part of her body I feel like whenever she wants to. So definitely getting stronger and I think she should be rolling pretty good anytime now. I just think she needs a little bit more practice of getting her arms in the right place but she is doing a great job. 
I wanted to do a video on my postpartum update and my exclusively pumping update, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit to do that. But just so you guys know, I'm kind of doing the exact same thing that I have been doing where I pump pretty much every time she eats. Sometimes in the mornings, like if she wakes up at three, I might not pump. I'll just wait till I wake up at six or seven and pump. So I go throughout the whole night without pumping. Typically, sometimes I will pump when she gets up. And then at night, since she goes down pretty early at like 6 or 7 p.m., I usually will get in another pump around like 8 or 9 p.m. before I go to bed. So I'll get in like one more pump than she eats at night, but then in the morning she might eat one more time before I. So it kind of like evens out throughout the day that I'm pretty much pumping the same amount of times that she's eating. My supply, I feel like, is slightly decreasing and... I, I know that's kind of expected over time because pumping just it's hard to keep up your supply so I'm kind of sad about that but I am still trying the best that I can I am pumping for about 30 minutes every single time I pump so I'm trying to communicate to my body that I still need milk so we'll see how it goes over the next couple weeks I do plan on pumping on the plane and during our trip we're gonna be in California for a week so Stay tuned for updates on how all of that's going for me. I do plan on talking about that in videos, but if you want some more updates, I'll probably mention it a lot on my Instagram so you could jump over there and just kind of see how the trip's going for all of us. I think that's pretty much it for everything new that has been happening over the last month. So I will end with a little clip of Julie and then I think I'm gonna end this video here. So I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. I do a lot of baby updates, postpartum updates, and vlog style videos, but I also do some cleaning videos. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing if you have not and join my family here. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.